Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, claims to have developed a free energy vehicle powered by radio frequencies. His innovation has sparked interest in Zimbabwe and across Africa. However, despite its groundbreaking nature, his invention has not taken the internet by storm the way it might have if someone like Elon Musk had introduced it. But why is that the case? Here are some possible reasons. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't heard about this remarkable Zimbabwean innovator, Maxwell officially unveiled his revolutionary free energy vehicle on February 10th, and it is now available for purchase. His invention revolves around a microscopic energy device he designed, which converts naturally occurring radio frequencies into usable power. Unlike solar panels or electric batteries, this technology does not require sunlight or periodic recharging. Instead, it taps into the ever-present stream of radio waves in the environment, transforming them into a continuous and limitless energy source. This means the vehicle can operate indefinitely without needing fuel, recharging, or any external power input. Despite the significance of this breakthrough, Maxwell's invention has not received widespread attention beyond Zimbabwe. Here are some reasons why. One of the biggest obstacles Maxwell faces is skepticism. The idea of a car running solely on radio waves, without the need for fuel or charging, has been met with doubt from scientists, engineers, and even some of his fellow citizens. Critics argue that his claims contradict established principles of physics, especially the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted. Maxwell's device, which supposedly extracts energy from ambient radio frequencies to power a vehicle, raises concerns about where the excess energy comes from. If his technology produces more energy than it absorbs, it would challenge this fundamental scientific law. So far, Maxwell has not provided a comprehensive scientific explanation detailing how his technology overcomes these principles. Some speculate that Maxwell's device could be tapping into an unknown or unconventional energy source, while others argue that there may be a misunderstanding about how the energy is being harnessed. Until Maxwell provides a clear scientific explanation of his technology and allows independent testing, skepticism will persist. However, skepticism isn't unique to Maxwell. African inventors in general face immense challenges in gaining global recognition. The world has been conditioned to believe that groundbreaking innovations primarily emerge from Western nations, such as the United States or Europe. Whenever an African inventor claims to have created something groundbreaking, the initial reaction is often disbelief. Let's be honest. If Elon Musk announced a car powered by radio waves with a release date set for 2035, it would dominate global headlines and social media would be buzzing with discussions. Yet, when Maxwell Chikumbutso makes the same claim with a functional product available today without vague future promises, many dismiss it as insignificant. This bias is unfair and harmful. It stifles innovation and discourages brilliant African minds from advancing their ideas unless they relocate to Western countries. Maxwell's journey is a prime example of how African inventors are frequently overlooked, even when their work has the potential to transform industries. Another reason Maxwell's invention hasn't gained widespread attention is its limited exposure beyond Zimbabwe. While he has demonstrated his technology to Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa and local media, there has been no independent verification or presentation on an international stage. Now that his product is officially available for purchase, perhaps independent experts will finally test it to determine whether it is a revolutionary breakthrough or just another overhyped claim. Critics like Terry Massey emphasize that extraordinary claims demand extraordinary proof. Over time, Maxwell's assertions have become increasingly ambitious, yet concrete evidence remains scarce. For any technological breakthrough to gain global credibility, it must undergo rigorous testing and validation. Companies like Tesla and SpaceX regularly invite journalists, scientists, and engineers to witness their innovations firsthand. In contrast, Maxwell has yet to offer this level of transparency, leaving room for doubt. People have heard of his inventions, but few have seen a functional prototype, even after the official launch. There is also lingering confusion regarding how one can actually purchase his vehicle. Maxwell's target market may not be the average consumer looking for an electric car, but rather large-scale industrial manufacturers who could integrate his technology into specialized applications. 
While many envision personal vehicles running on wireless energy, the reality is that most advancements in energy harvesting are first adopted by industries before making their way to the consumer market. If Maxwell's invention proves to be viable, it could potentially find applications in industrial machinery, telecommunications, or remote power solutions before being scaled up for cars. The idea of extracting energy from radio waves is not a new one. Scientists and engineers have long explored its potential, but so far, its practical use has been limited to powering small, low-energy devices such as sensors, RFID tags, and fitness trackers. These devices require only minimal amounts of energy to function, making them suitable for current radio wave harvesting technology. However, when it comes to something as energy-intensive as a full-sized vehicle, the challenge becomes significantly greater. The amount of power required to propel a car, especially one that claims to reach speeds of 220 kilometers per hour, is far beyond what traditional radio wave energy harvesting methods can provide. Maxwell insists that he has developed a microscopic energy device capable of amplifying this harvested energy to a level sufficient for powering a vehicle. While this claim is certainly bold, it has not yet been backed by detailed scientific data or peer-reviewed studies. The scientific community remains skeptical, as revolutionary breakthroughs in physics and engineering typically undergo extensive scrutiny before being accepted as legitimate. If Maxwell has indeed unlocked a new and efficient way to convert radio waves into usable power at such a large scale, he must present clear and verifiable evidence to gain credibility in the global scientific arena. Until such evidence is provided, many experts will continue to question the feasibility of his claims. Now that the product has been officially launched, we may soon get a better understanding of its true capabilities. If Maxwell's technology performs as promised in real-world conditions, it could potentially change the future of energy and transportation. However, if it fails to live up to expectations, it risks being dismissed as yet another overhyped innovation that could not deliver on its promises. The coming months will be crucial in determining whether this invention is a game-changer or just another ambitious but unproven concept. Another major reason Maxwell's invention has not gained significant global traction is the power of marketing and branding. The ability to capture public interest and maintain a strong media presence plays a crucial role in the success of any groundbreaking innovation. This is an area where figures like Elon Musk excel. Musk is a marketing genius. He understands how to create buzz, generate excitement, and keep people talking. His ability to sell a vision, even before a product is fully developed, has helped Tesla, SpaceX, and his other ventures maintain public and investor confidence. Tesla's full self-driving technology, for example, was announced long before it was truly ready for widespread use. Yet Musk's strategic marketing has kept people engaged and optimistic about its future. Maxwell Chikumbuzo, on the other hand, does not have the same level of global influence or media dominance. While his invention has received some coverage from African news outlets such as Baban, it has yet to make a strong impact on the international stage. Without widespread media attention, major investors, and scientific endorsements, gaining credibility and market adoption will be an uphill battle. For Maxwell's technology to gain the recognition it needs, he may need to focus on building a stronger public presence, collaborating with respected scientists, and securing partnerships with influential companies in the energy or automotive sector. Ultimately, whether Maxwell's invention succeeds or fades into obscurity will depend not only on the strength of his scientific claims, but also on how effectively he can navigate the business, marketing, and media landscape. If he can provide undeniable proof and secure the right kind of exposure, he might just be on the verge of a technological breakthrough that could change the way we think about energy and transportation forever. This isn't just about Maxwell. It's about how African innovations are either overlooked or underreported by global media. If his invention had been backed by a major Western corporation or endorsed by a celebrity, it would have likely gone viral by now. The centerpiece of Maxwell's innovation is a vehicle called the Psi, developed in partnership with a Chinese manufacturer that supplied the car's outer shell and key components. However, the true breakthrough lies in the energy system which allows the Psi to achieve an unlimited driving range and reach a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour. A car that never needs fuel or charging could be a game changer. With modern features such as self-parking and an advanced driving system, the Psi is both practical and cutting edge. 
Even more remarkable is its estimated production cost, just $14,000 per unit, potentially making it an affordable option for widespread use. If successfully brought to market, Maxwell's technology could disrupt industries, lessen global reliance on fossil fuels, and significantly reduce carbon emissions. The Zimbabwean government has acknowledged the importance of this achievement, with President Menangagwa personally praising Maxwell's ingenuity. Plans are already in motion to establish a local vehicle manufacturing plant, which could position Zimbabwe as a front-runner in clean energy technology. However, major questions remain regarding scalability, regulatory approvals, and the reaction from powerful industries. Will energy corporations support this transition, or will they resist to protect their interests? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. Maxwell Chikawar's invention has the potential to transform transportation sustainability and economic independence on a global level. The free energy vehicle is no longer just an idea, it's real, and it could reshape the future. The world must begin taking African inventors seriously. Maxwell's story is proof that innovation knows no borders. If his technology is truly as groundbreaking as he claims, it's only a matter of time before the world takes notice. But for now, the burden falls on him to prove the skeptics wrong.